reps have always stimulated because you got to remember you walk around all day your calves are used to being walked on or they're used to not resting a lot so sometimes if you go super heavy on a toe press or you go super heavy on a standing calf G'day now people always ask me Lee what do you eat for breakfast no that's not what they really ask me but what they do ask me is how do you train calves? What do you do for calves? Now calves are like forearms. A lot of it's genetic, but that doesn't mean you can't try and train them and try and make them grow. And the best thing is I found for calves, I see so many people doing heavy weights, right? And when they do heavy weights, like say they're on a standing calf machine, they're like, mm -mm 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 -mm. it's like a fucking, fucking rabbit having a root. <laughs> Like that what the fuck's that if you're going to do calves i'll show you you got to do full range of motion my favorites are always standing calf never like seated calf i just found i got into ankle more around there than or the like up the uh up the back of my thing there the achilles tendon so i prefer some sort of toe press on a leg press machine or this one here behind me which i'll show you in a minute this one as you can see it has a little platform here to put your feet on and do your calves that's just up and down on there that one standing calf or donkey calves now donkey calves you don't really see them much in the gyms anymore but this one here i'll show you this is like a as if you're doing toe press at the gym yeah hop on oh, oh, i've hurt my back I'll put my feet on this little platform which you can't see but I'm going all the way down, then all the way up, down, and up, down, and up, like this. Hold on, I'll grab the thing on the stand and try and move it around with me so you can see what I'm doing. Very, very professional setup here, Lee. Oh, you're welcome. Here we go, look. A bird's eye view. Down and up. Here we go. I might be the wrong way up and down, depending on the way the camera is, but see, down and up, all the way. Now with these, I never really go by reps or, you know, I just normally go till they burn. And the thing is, like I said, when you get people to do this thing, they just do this, they're bouncing. It's too much weight. Like I've found that calves, and a lot of other people I've trained with when they do calves, higher reps have always stimulated because you got to remember you walk around all day your calves are used to being walked on or they're used to not resting a lot so sometimes if you go super heavy on a toe press or you go super heavy on a standing calf sometimes it's just not enough to stimulate it you got to have those high rep ranges and the reason i come across this was because my sister used to do ballet and you see a lot of these male dancers always on the ball of their toe up and down up like thousands of reps and they had big fucking calves so i started doing that i do 50 set type things and 100 set just like body weight standing calves or on here too it's like when you're doing it you could be doing this right up and down on your calves when i say if you go and do 100 don't lock the handle in like i could lock the handle in put the weight back no whether you're on a machine like this or a toe press, keep going. And then, you know, like I said, if you keep doing it, when you stop, like stay here, keep the tension on your calves, just give one a shake, put it back, give the other a shake, put it back, pump out a few more, as many as you can, give it a shake, but do not rack the weight. Only then, when you can't think you can do any more, then you can start doing the short ones, just the really, I mean, to you just barely moving it. Once you can't do a complete rep, then start doing the short, crazy ones like that. And then over here, like I said, we're standing. I have a standing machine over here where the weight goes on your shoulders, like so. It's got the bottom thing down here you put your feet on. So again, if I'm doing calves standing, I hop under here. Most gyms have a standing calf machine. This one here has a little block to stand on. And you go down, all the way up. None of this, none of this. Down, all the way up, 
down. And like I said, I just will have one plate on. Like I said, then I'll stop, shake a leg, shake a leg, and just keep going until you get to that number that you aim for. And like I said, I try and go for at least 50 to 100. Sometimes if you haven't got weight, you don't really need it. Just find a step like here under concrete. You can just find something to hang on to, a pole like this, a little pole like that, and up and down, up and down now. So you go up and down, up and down. See, down and up, down and up. And these are where you do a hundred or more. And like I said, when they start burning, just go like that, give it a shake, put it back. Give it a shake, put it back. And just keep going. Sometimes I will, not all the time, but I might turn them in like that and just do it where when I come up, I'm pretty much pushing from the ball of my toe here, like this part. That's where I'm putting most of the pressure on. So when I'm doing it, I'm doing it like that. And only when they're super pumped, then you can do these at the very end. But make sure they're all full reps like that to begin with. If you have a step like this, remember, you can get somebody on your back. If you've got like a table or chair, you can lean on like that. Put your feet on the end of the step and do donkey calves and have somebody sit on your back. Not many gyms have donkey calf machines anymore. So sometimes it's good to go back to the basics. Are you getting dizzy watching me move the camera around? But that's okay. But like standing calves like this, I found and a lot of people I trained with, the higher reps made them grow. Because like I said, if you put a ton of weight on, you just go one, six reps, eh, don't have to stimulate it. Your calves are used to a lot of work. That quick thing, no. Do full range of motion, all the way up and down. You can do the little partials only at the end. But like I said, some sort of sled, whether it be leg press or a sled machine like that is good for calves. Standing calves is good, but I found sometimes I just do them at home on a step. Just stand on a step, hold on to something, hold on to a rail near the step, and just do this. And I mean, just keep going. Try and do like five to seven sets, a hundred reps a set, and they'll be burning, they'll be aching, but they will grow. Maybe they won't get huge, you know. Genetics are always gonna limit us on how big our calves can get or what size and shape and stuff like that. Some get the diamond shape, some get like a big brick put in there. So just do the best you can, but do not avoid training them. I hate seeing bodybuilders without calves. So if what you're doing now isn't working and you've been going heavy, doing low reps, what do you got to lose? Change it up, give it a go. Let me know how your calves feel after doing it, but I guarantee they'll probably get a lot more stimulation and you'll probably get some growth. So give it a go, 50 to 100 reps standing. So you won't need a lot of weight. I said sometimes just body weight on a step doing hundreds of reps is enough. And on a leg press sometimes, I only put one or two plates aside for reps of 50 to 100. So give it a go. Let me know how it goes for you. I'd be interested to hear on how your calves grow. So until then, remember, cops over criminals. Do -do 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 -do. Look at me trying to fit in here. Maybe I'm getting too tall. Growth hormones kicking in. Oh, fuck. It's not really. It's too expensive. Don't use that shit. Try it twice, like I said, and waste the money. So until next time, people, train your calves hard, and I'll come back with some more training tips, and maybe, maybe I should do a cooking one. Because Evan and everybody cooks all fucking oh, healthy food, healthy food. Fuck that. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a little funky. Okay, you're not going to take a whiff and go, ooh, that smells lovely. I'm going to come on and cook a nice fucking meaty, fatty, salty roast. Because that's how real people fucking eat. So until next time, take care, train hard, train smart.